Flight SimCon 2015. Uh, this is Air Daily X interviewing Bill Womack, the great legendary developer. We have Cresswell and Keenan from IDS. Of course, we all know IDS. These are the gentlemen who have been developing the amazing scenery such as Sacramento, Manchester, and the TB20 as well, coming from Just Flight. What you may or may not know is that we have announced in the past, uh, what was the name of the company again? Remind me. Fly Beyond. Fly Beyond. If you remember the news from Fly Beyond a while back, this is Fly Beyond now as a part of IDS. They have completely reworked their Nassau project from scratch. It is absolutely incredible and you guys are absolutely going to love it. Just going to start off with Bill though. Uh, you have your booth set up here. You're at Flight Team Con. You guys actually had a developers sort of conference or a, or a uh, presentation. Um, just give us a little bit of an idea of what you guys are doing here today and uh, what you sort of cover. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, we, we did a presentation on scenery design, um, just a basic scenery design for people who aren't familiar with it. Uh, it went over pretty well, I think. Yeah. And uh, other than that, I'm here with my with my new company with I Blue Yonder, uh, talking about what our projects are upcoming and kind of reminding people of the projects we've done in the past. Um, and I, uh, as part of that, have to have an analysis of the scenery coming out in the next couple of weeks. Uh, for, that, that we're giving away for free to people who join our mailing list. So if you're interested, iBlueYonder.com is a nice site. What's the project? It's called Heron's Nest. It's, it's, it's one of those, for people who like Cushman Meadows or who remember like Antelope Trail Ranch way back in like 2002 or something, this is one of those fictional airports. It's actually a, uh, an island it's off the coast of Maine. And uh, I've created an airport there. Another one of my barn airports with a barn for the hangar and a float hangar down in the water. And, that sort of thing. Uh, there will be screenshots on the website uh, in the next few days. And you actually have some previews here on your computer. If you want a free copy of that upcoming product, sign up for the mailing list, iblueyonder.com. But here's the big question. Bill Walmack from iBlueYonder, we have two guys here from IDS. Why are we all together? Well, <laughs> we might be working on some projects together. Uh, I'm branching out to some larger airports, and here has got a bunch of interesting things going on. I can only imagine what a larger Bill Walmart airport might look like. Well, it has to be awesome. Who says that we are doing airports? <laughs> no one knows that. We keep it as a secret. I'm sorry. Well, we will announce it. What would an airplane from Bill Walmart look like? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about IDS and uh, what's going on. Well, IDS, you may know about us. We've done some projects in the past already. Ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck, a couple of quick announcements for you. First of all, I'd like to thank you very much for coming out tonight. Uh, it is time for us to start yeah, wrapping it up. We do need to be cleared out of the museum by 5 p.m. Once again, it's great things coming from IDS. We're very near future, so keep an eye on them. Do you guys have the website up and running yet, or is that still in development? For those of you who are coming to dinner tonight, this was at the Skyline You will find the information on airdailyx.net when that's available. Keep your eyes on IDS. Keep your eyes on IDS. Keep your eyes on IDS. Remember, sign up to the newsletter and get that free copy. We're all looking forward to seeing you very much.